Mr. Ian Vasquez, Director for the Center for Global Liberty and Prosperity, and all the directors of Cato Institute here present, ladies and gentlemen. My thanks and gratitude for inviting me to this forum and the opportunity to speak to such distinguished guests. Unfortunately, the reason why I was invited and theme of the presentation you are going to see are not happy ones. They refer to the loss of liberties, loss of the right to private property, and especially the loss of freedom of expression in my country, Venezuela. Due to manipulation of our legal systems and due to the fact that I have been accused of presumed acts against the community for legally selling cars through one of our distributors, I have been served with measures that forbid me from traveling outside Venezuela. These measures have the purpose of trying to intimidate me and soften the reality shown on Global Vision Program. This is called in Venezuela, Terrorismo Judicial, which is the government using the legal system to terrorize citizens. This must be very hard for you to understand because you don't know what it is to live in a country where the rule of law is very precarious and the courts of law and judges are pressured and manipulated to decide what the executive branch wants. I really hope you will never have to experience something like this. I was hoping to obtain a legal permit to travel to this forum. It was denied last Monday, but we will not disappoint you. Here are Rafael Alfonso, president of CEDICI, which, in my opinion, is the Venezuelan organization that best represents what Cato Institute is. CEDICE is the Venezuelan think tank that defends and promotes democracy, free enterprise, and liberal government. And Mr. Alfonso is the best and more knowledgeable representative of these values. My presentation will be done by my son, Carlos Zuluaga, who was chief operating officer of Globovision has had to experience the constant attacks on freedom of speech that we have to go through on an almost permanent basis. Thank you again for this opportunity, and I look forward to the opportunity when I can visit Cato Institute personally. With you, my son, Carlos. Thank you. <laughs> 